We have a new video from the VFW going against VA Disability Claim Companies and other frauds and scams that we're going to take a look at, then discuss my personal thoughts on these companies and these practices. I want to know what you think, your thoughts on VA Disability Claim Companies. Should they be allowed to charge thousands of dollars? Should it be capped at a certain amount? Should they be sued? Completely illegal? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let's go ahead and pull this video up and we'll talk about it. Hey, this is Ryan from the VFW. I spoke with the White House recently about new efforts to protect veterans and our earned benefits. The centerpiece is vsafe.gov, which provides fraud and scam reporting tools for the MilVet community. Through this effort, VA is ramping up its warnings about claims predators, who we call claim sharks. But there is more happening behind the scenes now that the people who can do something about scammers and grifters have taken up our fight. Through VFW's Don't Feed the Sharks campaign, our advocates around the world have worked hard to raise the alarm on the predatory schemes that exploded during COVID-19 and now with the PACT Act. But it's more than the White House, DOD, and VA helping veterans who get scammed. Law enforcement is now taking our clarion call seriously to go after scammers and those who empower them. Scammers in our community are nothing new, whether it's GI Bill, pension, home loan, or health care. Shortly after helping to pass the post-9-11 GI Bill, the VFW picked up the fight against predatory schools like ITT Tech and EDMC while pushing for policy reforms like in-state tuition to make college more accessible. We didn't stop then, and we won't stop now. So thank you to our service officers, our members and supporters who work every day to help veterans thrive after service and root out the Blue Falcons who try to exploit our community for a cut of the action. The fight is far from over and we will eagerly continue our efforts on all fronts. The VFW will not accept normalizing and legalizing the exploitation of veterans and neither should you. So remember, no one can guarantee you faster or a higher rating. Contingency fees on future benefits and exams are predatory. Accessing your federal records without a VA power of attorney is illegal. VA inspects exam reports to identify fraud. And just like when we were in the military, if VA overpays you, they will get their money back or worse. So don't feed the sharks. If you've been scammed, check out vsafe.gov and report it. If you need help, free accredited help with your benefit claim, or if you want to find out how you can support our fight, Visit don'tfeedthesharks.org. Right. Now for my personal thoughts, okay? There are three off-limit claims. That I don't care what the situation is. These should be off-limits for VA disability claim companies, per my opinion, which, by the way, doesn't mean anything, so don't take this too seriously. But one is BDD claims. I think companies charging active duty service members to file BDD claims which are the easiest of the claims ever. You don't need a consultation. There's definitely no uh, Nessus letter or DBQ that even needs to be thought of. It's just out of the picture. The second type of claim, really there's four. The second type of claim is I would actually argue initial claims. Initial claims are extremely easy. That includes increases. And um, in my opinion, I think the work a, the real work behind a claim is in supplemental or appeals. And then, of course, the Board of Appeals. That's where your lawyers are going to. Your lawyers and claims agents are really going to make their money. And because that's that's when that's when claims get difficult, at least in my opinion. The third type of claim are presumptive conditions. There's no reason, no reason anyone should be charged for a condition that is presumptive. So a PACT Act has a lot of presumptives, but that also includes, for instance, tinnitus within that first year of service, or there are many, many presumptive cancers after military service. So any presumptive, presumptive condition is on my no-go list. And that fourth type of claim, which we cannot forget about, are survivors. Survivors should not be charged under any circumstance whatsoever. And that's kind of the hill that I will die on. BDD claims, initial claims slash increases, presumptive conditions, and survivors. That's the hill I'm going to dive on. And I'm kind of conflicted personally because I'm, I'm from Kentucky here, University of Kentucky. Um, it's very, uh, you know, personal property-ish, almost a libertarian type mindset. But I wholly, fully believe, 
fully believe that veterans, especially, or any taxpaying American should be able to have the right to choose. So now I'm, I'm in this conflicted boat where there are companies that do take advantage of the situation. That's true. What's also true is they help veterans. Both of those are true. Companies are taking advantage of a situation because the VA sucks, uh, VSO suck, whatever you want to say, that's, I'll probably agree with you. That's fine. They're taking advantage of the situation to capitalize on that. Um, but they also help veterans. Now that help is kind of backhanded because it comes at a very hefty price, but both of those are absolutely true. So you have companies that are doing that, but then you have veterans that I do believe should have the right to choose. And a VSO will say, well, you do have the right to choose because you can choose your county VSOs. That That's my person. If you're using a VSO, go to your county. That's what I would recommend. You can use a national VSO like the VFW, the DAV, whoever you want. So you have the right to choose. And then if you're denied, then you go to a, a, an attorney or a claims agent, depending on what that situation looks like. Those are my thoughts. I... I'm not really on the fence because I do think these companies should go away for good, okay? Like the Department of Justice has got to do something. The Guard Act or the PLUS Act has to pass. Something has to happen to make it concrete of what the right by our societal standards, what the right answer is. So if you commented below and you want to change what you comment or I sparked a thought, you know, definitely do that. No shame here. But what last thing I do want to do is show you what VSafe is that was brought up in the video. Um, learn, detect, protect. This is the VSafe website that the VFW was calling about. There's also a hotline you can call, but there are tons of other scams. So not just VA disability claim companies, but you have military and veteran benefits. We all know what that refers to. Identity theft is absolutely huge, especially in our senior veterans imposters, general resources, learn about scams to avoid when you're buying, financing, or maintaining your car, burials, education. There are tons of GI Bill scams out there. Employment opportunities, financial, fake investment schemes, fraudulent loans, healthcare, housing, romance. Um, I don't know why, but I want to click on that. Um, this was not the plan, but I didn't see that when I first looked through this. So let's go ahead and click on romance and see what uh, what's up here. Okay, she's tatted. It's definitely a younger audience, right? We have a female. She looks younger. She has tattoos. Mm -hmm. It's definitely that millennial-ish audience that we're looking at here. So about online romance scams, report fraud, scams, and bad business practices, report fraud prevention, what to do, what to know about romance scams. This is... This is awesome. It's got a little heartbreak sign there. Again, this wasn't the plan. I just want to see what they have. So they have some do's and don'ts. Okay. Do a reverse image search. Absolutely. Do go slowly. All right. Video calls through. Don't get catfished. Do beware. Too perfect. I like to I like to believe that I seem too perfect. Not that I'm on dating apps. I'm married happily. Um, be careful about the information you share. Do not send money and do not share your bank account. Duh. I feel like if you're doing this on Tinder or something, you kind of deserve to be scammed. Anyways, that was not the plan. Let me know your thoughts specifically on VA disability claim companies. If you want to have a thought on other VA scams, absolutely share that too. All opinions are welcomed here and there's no right or wrong answer. Okay, there's nothing, there's nothing that says this is right, this is wrong. So share, share your thoughts. I definitely want to see them. I'll respond to them. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.